What's up, LP viewers? I'm Landon Production. Did you guys know that Lucia Ball from I Love Lucy became the first ever pregnant person to actually be on TV? It's true, back in the day, if you're pregnant, you're not allowed to be on TV at all. Huh. So my last video asked you guys, what's your biggest fear? And this is what you said. Today's comment question of the day is, what do you wish for? Okay, so a couple of quick announcements for you guys. I have new Land of Production t-shirts. And I try to make them as cheap as possible. If you guys buy it and take a picture of yourself wearing it, I'll put that picture into a future video. So you guys will star in a Land of Production video. How awesome is that? The link for the merchandise is down below. And secondly, I just wanted to say that I've created a new YouTube channel. It's called IO Trends. Don't get that mixed up with Inform Overload, the channel that I've already made. Hopefully you guys will like it and subscribe to it. The links for that is also below. Okay, so getting on with today's stories, over in Indonesia, Slamet, this guy right here, he's 59 years old and he has tumors all over his body. Doctors say he is suffering from neurofibromatosis. It's a genetic condition that causes uncontrollable growth on the nerves. His illness began back in 1991 when doctors removed his first tumor. As soon as they removed the first one, they started to grow like rapidly over the years. Now they're all over his face, his chest, his back, his legs, anywhere there's skin, there's tumors. Slamet is left in constant pain and it's so sad looking at him. And now they're growing so big old all over his face, he's having trouble breathing because they're closing his nostrils and his airways. Now he's unable to work and he relies on handouts. 50% of the people who get this condition is genetically from their parents. But in this case, Slamet got it from a gene mutation before he was born. His neighbors actually started to try to raise money for this guy so he can get doctors to remove the tumors. But you know what? It may not even be possible because when you remove it, another one may grow back. Okay, so there's this new video on YouTube and it just went viral. It's Ron Jeremy spoofing the Miley Cyrus video Wrecking Ball. I don't know who this guy is, so I took it to Google and I searched him and I found out he's like an old porn star. His nickname in the adult industry is Hedgehog. Getting back to the video, it's just so awkward seeing him. This remake is just so terrible. I came in like a wrecking ball. I never hit so hard in love. All I wanted was to break your walls. He's actually making me like Miley Cyrus in this video a lot more. I never want to see a man in tidy whities ever again in my life. Right now, I am just so scarred. This video already has over 3 million views. This video is just so awkward, so let's just move on. Jonah Dennehy is a 31-year-old woman seen in this picture right here. She is seen in this store just moments after she murdered three other men. She was searching for more victims. Witnesses say that they saw her stab a man like 15 to 20 times. And during the killing, she decided to take selfies of like what she was doing. This is a picture of her holding a big knife, and you can actually see she has handcuffs just hanging from her pants. That picture was taken while she was on the run. There's another picture, she's lifting up her top, exposing her bra. Like, is this real life right now? Clearly something is wrong with her. And then all of a sudden you see this guy right here posing in the exact same place as Jonah. He is allegedly to be the co-conspirator of the murders. So guess what? She was caught, and now her life is in the hands of a judge. What do you guys think should happen to her? Anyways, viewers, that's all the news stories I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, it means a lot. If you want to land in production, t-shirt don't forget links are down below and i'll see you guys tomorrow